the ozone molecule wants to go partying all the time. You know, there's a, there's the oxygen in there and then there's the extra one and that one always wants to go partying, right? It wants to party with bad elements, right? And welcome back. And today what I'm going to talk about is an ozone generator. I'm going to explain how they work and what they're used for. Okay, ozone generators, you might have heard of them. They're used by contractors and you can get them for private use as well. They're often for uh, remediating smoke damage, odors in a building and things like that. So if you've had a flood, for instance, and you end up with your drywall all being moldy, uh, these contractors will come in, they'll have a, a much larger units than this. And they'll run these machines and what they do is they take out that uh, mold and they take out those, uh, those smoke odors and things like that from a building. Okay, so the first thing we want to look at is, is oxygen. Oxygen is in the air we breathe and it is formed by two atoms of oxygen combined into one molecule. So that's a molecule of oxygen, O2. Okay, so how this works is air is drawn into the back of the machine through a little filter membrane and it's pushed through by a fan and it gets passed through this high voltage corona. Voltage is applied and what it does is it splits the molecule so that individual atoms of oxygen are, are coming out of here and they immediately want to combine again. They want to combine back into molecules. So oxygen is formed again immediately when two of these combine, but also ozone is formed and that's when three atoms of oxygen combine. Okay, so this is, this is ozone. Now, oxygen is a very stable molecule. It wants to stay together and it's very, very stable. Ozone, on the other hand, is unstable. That third atom of oxygen wants to react with just about everything around it. Okay, so if we look down here, so we have, we have a molecule of ozone. It's three oxygen atoms. It is unstable. So that one atom wants to always go off, leaving the other two and react with something. It wants to party with bad elements, right? And uh, anyone that's been in a relationship where they've had a, uh, a bad element, you know, introduced. And uh, uh, so here's your happy little union over here, what it, whether it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your wife or whatever, runs over here and interacts and basically ruins this whole situation here and it ruins that one or it ruins that one and it leaves just the oxygen behind and uh, but uh, you know and then it's the same thing you know people later will say well it was for the best you know it uh, you know here you are you're left alone at the end but you know you're um, you're back to where you were at the beginning after you know that uh, horrible process and uh, and plus you don't have this bacteria mold mildew virus or smoke in your life anymore so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one way to explain it, I guess. Okay, and why would you want to have an ozone generator on hand? They're really good for removing mold, mildew, and uh, bacteria from uh, a vehicle especially. So if you've got a vehicle that's getting moldy inside, if you live in a damp climate, like we live in a pretty damp climate here, and uh, if you leave a vehicle, you know, with the windows rolled up for months at a time, they'll end up, you know, smelling kind of musty, moldy in there. And uh, there's ways to get that out of there. You can, tr you know, try and scrub it out and uh, things like that. But if you uh, do that in combination with an ozone treatment, that uh, will be killed because bacteria and uh, mold and mildew, they're all living organisms. Okay, so I've wiped out the truck just to, you know, take care of uh, whatever I can that I can just wipe out with a rag. So I've wiped off the dash and taken anything uh, out of the vehicle. Like I had a couple of jackets back in here and things like that. So anything that would hold uh, mold or mildew, we want to just take that right out of the vehicle. So on the back, it's got one of these plugs just like on a computer. Okay, that goes in here. Now we're not going to plug it in yet. We're just going to set it up and get it ready. So we'll put it sort of central in the vehicle. All right, so maybe I can, I can let this down. There's a shelf here. So we'll put it central here so 
Let me show you how this is. So that's the inlet for the air at the back. There's a bit of a filter there and there's a fan inside. And then there's that uh, electrical component here, the Corona. You can see it in through there, that silver element there. Okay. And it's your timer on the front. And then there's a, a light that is on while it's in operation. So let's sit this here. All right. So we have our extension cord. We're not going to plug it in yet. We're going to get the, the other side. I'm going to close the window on the other side. And I'm going to close this, this window. Okay, so before we plug it in, we're going to set the timer. So I'm going to set it for... I'm going to set it all the way over to 120 minutes. That's two hours. That's quite a treatment, but uh, it hasn't been done in a long time. All right. And then I'm going to get outside, like this. Shut the door on the cord. Now, outside the vehicle, I'm going to plug it in. All right. All right, and there it is. The light's on. It's counting down. We'll just leave the door shut for until that's finished, and then we'll open it up and air it out. Okay, so it's the next morning. The cycle completed last night, just about dark, and I decided just to uh, unplug the cord and just let it sit overnight, so I did that. And uh, so what I'm gonna do here in a moment is I'm gonna open up the doors and let it air out. Uh, even after overnight, you've still gotta be careful not to get in there right away and breathe the air in there. There could still be uh, a lot of this residual, uh, it's like a bleachy smell. So uh, you got to remember an ozone machine, you know, it doesn't look like there's anything happening there. It's a little black box. You plug it in, you know, what could go wrong? But you got to be really careful that you don't uh, breathe the air uh, right away when uh, either when the machine's in use or immediately after. you got to really air it out well. Um, it's like a bleachy smell. It can actually damage your lungs. So we're going to air this thing out. Anyway, so that's the whole process. Just be careful when you use an ozone machine. <clears throat> they do work really well, but they uh, they do have certain precautions that you have to take into account when you use them. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again here very soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now.